to our course on grooming the Saluki. Obviously, some Salukis, like our good friend Connor here, grow more hair than other Salukis, and we don't want to have hair in the wrong places that are creating optical illusion. As Saluki lovers, we might like some of these coat patterns on our Salukis, but you have to remember if you're showing your dog in confirmation that some of these hair patterns can, in fact, cause optical illusions, especially for judges who are not breeders or, or are not very familiar with the Saluki. As well, when we talk about different brushes on our Salukis, our Salukis have very fine hair. So there is basically nowhere we are going to use a slicker brush on a Saluki. You are especially not going to use a slicker brush on their ears ever, because that will make the ear hair look thin. When brushing a Saluki, especially their ears, you need to brush them and pretend that every hair that comes out in your brush you are going to eat. And that way you'll be very gentle when you're grooming your Saluki and the ear hair will continue to grow. And you can see how easily it comes out, right? So if it's not coming out that easily, then maybe your dog isn't really ready to be stripped out. And then you're just gonna use the carding motion. So my knife is on about a 45 degree angle to the dog's body. And I'm just simply, I'm holding the skin taut. You don't wanna pull the skin. And I'm just doing nice gentle strokes and I'm just covering his whole body and just getting this very light fuzz out of my Saluki. So this is our first step just to make the coat look nice and even and shiny all over. Um, if your dog is a little bit on the skinny side, just be careful when you're doing this when you're going over any bony areas. And I like to run kind of all over the entire dog down this leg hair, down the front. Now this area here is very bony so I tend not to run a knife down here because you can catch the skin very easily but I'm just going to run it over the entire dog again making sure it's at that nice 45 degree angle holding the skin taut and just lightly taking out any of that excess undercoat another area often ignored and you can see it really well on Connor here and we're going to show you this as we continue our groom but Connor has this beautiful return of upper arm that you can really see his legs are nicely underneath him but because we have all this hair here when the judge again only has two minutes to decide how good or bad connor is in the ring this makes his front look much straighter so we have to always remember to take care of this hair and show the judge that beautiful return of upper arm so like we said right here right from the point of shoulder down to the top of the leg and then just here he grows a lot of fuzz here this is a very tender area. I could strip all this out. It would probably be a little bit raw and sore. Um, it wouldn't be enjoyable for him. And to me, the way it looks when it is stripped or plucked is not different from the way it looks when you are clippering it. Always, always, always with your salukis when you're using clippers, you're always going in the direction that the hair grows, never backwards like you might with a poodle or a sporting dog or something like that. So again, my clippers are on the longest setting and I'm just following his natural bone structure, right? I am not recreating the wheel. I'm not trying to carve a pattern in like a poodle. I am just taking off excess hair. So here we go. And I just like very lightly go down here and immediately look at how I've changed his, his angulation in the front just by taking that hair off. So to me, you're kind of doing a disservice by leaving this hair on. You're making that front angulation look a lot straighter than it is. And then I'm just gonna follow it up, just taking off the fuzz. I'm not really pushing really hard. I'm gonna follow it a little bit to the inside. And there we have, I can just take this part off the front of the shoulder on him. And there we have the front done and achieved fell swoop. Another traditional coat pattern on our Salukis is this neck frill, this neck fringe, this bib, whatever we wanna call it. And I understand that a lot of people really, really like this. It is a traditional Saluki coat pattern. So I personally think that this isn't fantastic to leave on your Saluki. Again, it's a traditional coat pattern. I understand why people love it, but I think it's distracting in the ring. I think it pulls away from their elegance and I think it makes their neck look shorter. Uh, regardless of whether we leave this or take it out, we still need to clean up like this super annoying stuff right here. 
We don't want to shave this. We don't want to really pull it too much because um, shaving it's going to leave clipper marks and uh, pulling it's going to be irritating. This is obviously a very tender area. So I'm just going to clean up everything that's kind of along this cowlick with my thinning shears, just lightly taking it off either side. And then as we start to clean this out, I might pull like some of these hairs with my fingers just to kind of blend it in. So we're, we're gonna figure out whether we're leaving this or taking it off, but see all these fine hairs right here, right? So now it's time for you to get really picky. You wanna go in here and just like gently take off some of these hairs that are sticking out and are distracting. Go back in with your bristle brush go over his coat, right? We can see there's a little bit of fuzz here. We just wanna keep kind of going through our saluki and making them look as perfect as possible. If we have these fine hairs and we can just keep going in there with a the stone, but obviously your fingers are a little bit more precise. And I'm just gonna pull it with my fingers in the direction that the hair is growing. And you can see that his hair is ready to come out. It just comes out super easily and I'm just going to go over it a few times and anywhere that you think that there is a piece of hair sticking up, you just want to simply pull it out, maybe use my bristle brush. And I'm just going to slightly, I'm not taking like a big handful of hair, like I'm just going to take a small amount of hair and pull it in the direction that the hair grows. If you're having a little bit of a problem gripping the hair um, because you're not used to it, you could always use like a rubber glove. Um, sometimes gives us a little bit more grip on the hair, um, a little bit of gold bond powder, a little bit of chalk if you have grooming chalk around. Any of those things can really help you grip these hairs if you're not used to pulling it, um, or just sometimes different hair textures are easier or harder to pull. So that's kind of the basic outline of why we are trimming our salukis, the look that we are trying to achieve. We are trying to make them look natural, but we are trying to make sure that our grooming follows the dog's natural bone structure. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a like, and if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to our channel below. Also, check out leadingedgedogshowacademy.com for our premium content. We had a lot of fun bringing you all this information. See you soon. Bye.